Hello, everybody. Thank you for being here today. This is Nikoya Helm, and I'm here today to tell you about using the color vowel chart. Now, what is the color vowel chart? The easy answer is that it is a very good way to learn and practice the vowel sounds of American English. Now, you can print a copy of the color vowel chart, but the best way to use it is at a website. You can find the website here in this link in the Prezi, or you can also search for it very easily in a web browser. If you just type color vowel chart and hit enter, it's the first link that you'll usually find. If you open this web page, you will see a colorful chart with lots of words on it. Each of these words and colors represents a vowel sound in American English. Now, you might not be able to hear it in this video, but on the website, if you click on one of the colors with your mouse, you will hear the vowel sound and the words that go with it. So, for example, I, white tie. if I click on white tie, I hear I, white tie. If I click on purple shirt, I hear er, purple shirt. All of these are the vowels in American English. So, how can you use this chart to improve your pronunciation? Well, there are two ways. The most simple way is to use it to imitate the vowel sound. So, for example, you can click on a color, listen to the person say the sound and the words, and just imitate them. So, if I click blue moon, I hear ooh, blue moon, and I can repeat that to practice my English. Now, there's another way that will help you learn new words and practice your pronunciation of new words, and that is to use the chart to find the color of new words. If you find the color using this chart, then you're also finding the vowel sound. So let's practice this. Let's learn how to do this. Let's find the color of some words. Here we have an example word. Me. Me. Well, I'm going to look at the chart and try and remember after I've listened to all of them. Me. What does this sound like? Well, it sounds like green tea. Me. Green tea. So that means color of me is green. Okay. Let's try another one. Box. Box. Well, this is a sound we haven't listened to yet, but box is an olive sound. Uh, olive sock. Box rhymes with ah, olive sock. So it is an olive color word. The final one that we're going to practice is food. Food. Food sounds like blue moon. Ooh, blue moon. Food. So food is a blue word. Okay. Are you ready to try it? Let's look at the word noon. Noon. Can you find the color of the word noon? Noon. That's right. Noon is a blue word. Blue moon. Noon. Let's try another one. Taught. 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 
taut sounds like olive sock. Ah, olive sock. Taut is an olive word. Let's try another. Feet, feet, feet. Did you guess green tea? That's right. Feet sounds like green tea. Feet is an olive, sorry, is a green word. Let's do one last one. Hot, hot, hot. Did you guess olive sock? That's right. Hot is an olive word, just like taut. Now, these are all short words, so you might be wondering, how do we find the color of longer words? Well, it's very easy. There are two steps. First, you have to find the stressed syllable. The stressed syllable is what makes the words color. So, if a word has two syllables, one will always be a little bit louder or stronger than the other one. The louder, stronger part of the word is the one that decides the word's color. Let's look at an example. The word teacher, teacher. Which part of the word is stronger or louder than the other part? This has two syllables, teacher. If you said the first part, you're right, teacher. T is the stressed syllable in this word. So to find the color of the word, we need to find the color of T. Well, that's a green T sound, green T, teacher. That means teacher is a green word. Let's try another one. Father, father. Can you find the stressed syllable in this word? Father, father. That's right, it's the first syllable, father. So we need to find the color of fa, fa the stressed syllable. Fa sounds like olive sock, olive sock. So father is an olive word. Let's try one more. Computer. This word has three syllables. Can you find the stressed syllable in computer? Computer computer. That's right, it's the second syllable, the middle syllable, pew, pew. So we need to find the color of that syllable, pew. The color of pew is blue moon, pew, blue moon, computer. So computer is a blue word. So when you find new words, you should try and find their color and keep a list so that you can go back and study them. So you have a list of your green words and you can learn the other colors and add words to those other colors too. This helps you review your pronunciation. If you have words that have more than one syllable, underline the stressed syllable so you know which syllable has that color sound. Thank you for listening, and I hope that this lesson helps you improve your American English pronunciation.